In Wolverhampton, Lou and Dave, the city's proudest litter pickers, are on their daily rounds keeping the city rubbish free. After a hard morning's picking, Lou's found a fly tip that'll come in handy. So in five minutes, black lads. We'll clear this up. The fly tip comprises of a huge bag containing what looks like the contents of a child's bedroom and the rather decorative sofa. Little dolly. David, do you want this dolly to take home? Thank you. Yeah, you're all right. Before they deal with the sofa, best to get the bag of clothes on the van. One, two, three, and it's gone. Lou may have seen all this before, but it doesn't stop him getting slightly frustrated. Look at this. If you buy settees today, normally where you buy a new settee from, they'll take it back. But this is the general public. They're not all the same. Just, I can't understand why they've done that. When the council, if you give a ring, they will come and collect it. Once the sofa is safely aboard, Lou and Dave can move on for a little bit more litter picking. And as always, a good opportunity for a little banter with the public. Come on now, kid, how you doing? All right? No punches this week. That ain't been on police five, has it, that scooter? <laughs> You'll be all right then. Have a nice day here, kid. Yeah, we have a bit of a... A laugh with the public. David's always telling me jokes. He never stopped. Look, he's even doing a dance there with a plank of wood. Go on, David, go for it. Whee! Look at him. It may not seem it, but Lou wants to get this alley cleared as soon as possible because today he's off to indulge in his passion for a spot of fishing. This is my passion. Fishing comes second. We better not tell the wife that. She comes first, really. Yeah, I do like fishing. It's uh, it's what you work for, don't you? And uh, if you've got a bit of interest, it's half the battle. You come out to work, you earn a few bob, and you can go and spend it then and uh, on your own leisure. You must have leisure time. With the alley looking sparkling and the van loaded, Lou can now knock off and head to the lake. In Wolverhampton, litter picker Lou has left the unending struggle against the city's grime behind and is indulging in his favourite passion for fishing, but the trip doesn't get off to the best of starts. For Lou, these lakes on the outskirts of Wolverhampton are paradise. Armed with the latest fishing gear, now safely transported to its resting place in a prime position on the lake, Lou can start to get his rods out and forget about the daily stress. If I don't catch a fish, the old saying is, all the gear and no idea. It takes Lou a while to admit that he was actually once a match fisherman and the chances of catching a load of fish today are weighted heavily in his favour. Oh yeah, this is lovely. This is relaxation at its best. Obviously, if you match fishing, it's all a go, but I don't uh, match fish now. I'm just taking it in my stride. Nice, leisurely fishing. Just lovely. Look at the weather, eh? What more could you ask for? But it's a bit early in the day's proceedings for Lou to totally switch off. You must always remember that when you're fishing. Take your litter home. I don't want it at the pool, and they certainly don't. Keep it tidy, and they'll always let you come back and fish again. At his favourite lakes on the outskirts of Wolverhampton, litter picker Lou has been soaking up the tranquility of his surroundings and enjoying a bumper haul of fish. I, I think if a man's fishing for the day and uh, he's catching fish, it puts a smile on his face. As the peace and serenity of the early evening draws in, Lou's hooked one of his favourites. I think it's a tench. Now, I haven't really told you, but tench is a fish that I love and absolutely adore to catch. Now look at that for a fish. It's so slimy, it's unbelievable. If you try and hold that, you won't hold it. I'm Oh, <laughs> just like a little snake. Words don't explain the feel of a tench to me. Go back, baby. The passion for fishing was instilled in Lou by his 87-year-old father-in-law. For Lou, fishing is all about taking time to relax and reflect, always appreciating the city that he loves. I've been in Wolverhampton since I was 18, which is a big part of my life. I'm, I'm in the 60s now. 
I've always liked to come back to Wolverhampton. Doesn't matter when I was working away from home. It was always lovely to come back to Wolverhampton. You might think that working on the streets, dealing with the detritus of everyday life, might make him despair, but not a bit of it. No, I never despair at any society. I'm just glad to be here myself. We're all equal, we're all the same, we're all born the same, we'll all go out the same. I just enjoy life.